Welcome to this episode of Palmetto Guardian. I am Sergeant Tim Andrews. I'm PFC Anna Grace Cato. And when, today we have some special guests. If you all can introduce yourselves. I'm Lieutenant Yancey. I'm your State Equal Employment Specialist. I'm Master Sergeant Cheek. I'm the Asian American Pacific Islander Special Emphasis Program Manager. Well, thank you all for being here. Uh, so from what I understand, uh, coming up is the Asian American Pacific Islander Month. So uh, y'all, could you all talk about that real quick? Yes. So in 1992, Congress designated May as Asian American Pacific Islander Month. This, we are going to have an observance that celebrates the service and sacrifices of Asian American Pacific Islanders throughout the United States. Okay. Um, so with that, and what, um, and that's, that's for the month of May. Correct. Um, with that, do we know any Asian American or Pacific Islanders that have served in the military? Or excuse me, well well known Asian American or Pacific Islanders. We do, but um, we want to um, emphasize on the four forty second reg- regimental um, combat team. Okay, it was an infantry regiment of the U.S. Army, comprised of American and Japanese ancestries. Um, the four forty second regiment, and there were Asian Americans that fought um, during World War Two, and they were the most outstanding and most decorated. Um, group of soldiers during um, in any wartime history. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Are there any significant ones in the South Carolina Guard? We don't. Um, we have a very few soldiers that are, that are either Pacific Islanders or Asian Americans. Um, that's correct. And that's reflective as well of the state's demographics. So um, our goal is always to reflect in the Army National Guard and Air Guard the census population for any particular group uh, in the state. So since that is a small population relatively in the state of South Carolina, our numbers kind of reflect that. Okay. And so with the uh, with that, and um, is there anything coming up? Oh, is there any event coming up that uh, that celebrates the Asian American Pacific Islander Month? Yes, so we will be having a special observance at our armory in Florence, and this is going to take place on the 18th of May. And we will be focusing on Asian American and Pacific Islanders in the military. Our guest speaker is Mr. Latifi, who works out at the Youth Challenge Program, and he served as an interpreter for the U.S. military. And he'll be speaking about his experience growing up in Afghanistan and then immigrating to the U.S. Okay, awesome. We're, we're also going to have um, a performance by the Samoan community here in the Fort Jackson, Columbia area. So they will be performing a traditional dance. What kind of dance is that? Samoan um, dances, and it's going to include other Pacific Island dances, um, some Hawaiian dances, and uh, possibly some Tongan as well. Okay. Mostly Pacific Islander dances. Awesome. Well, so is there any way that people can get in contact with y'all uh, and that are interested in supporting the uh, the event coming up? Yes, so the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion is located in the Blufford Armory, and I am your state equal employment specialist. If anyone wants to reach out to me, uh, my phone number is 803-299-5390, and I am in global as well. Uh, should be the only Brianna Yancey in the guard. And also, if anyone is interested in additional information about the Asian American Pacific Islander Special Emphasis Program, they can contact me at 803-299-2766, or I'm located in the TAG building. Um, I am, I believe, the only cheek in the global for the South Carolina Guard as well. So you'll find me in there. Awesome. Well, thank you all for coming on the podcast and talking about this event coming up and and how people can get involved. Well, thank you all. Thank Thank you you so much for having us. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to give the video a like. Make sure to give it a comment in the comment section, and we'll see you all next time.